police emergency. Call you through to the police. Can I help? Hi, I'm... I'm... Shut your fucking mouth! Snap Capone aka Young Snap is a rapper from Peckham who used to rep SI, shoot instant. He was one of the most feared gangsters in the late 2000s and was one of the original hitters involved in the Peckham Woolly Beef before Moscow 17 Zone 2 Beef. Peckham had always had good relations with Woolly Rude, with many members being close from school days and selling lots of drugs together. However, this all changed once the younger generations emerged and the hood politics changed completely. Civil wars started to kick off between the different sets, with Pig morphing into Anti and linking up with GMG members. They started sliding on Crane Block and left some especially but also had issues with SI due to the work that Snap Capone was putting in. Before all the beef. Snap Capone was raised well by a committed ivory and mother who wanted to see him take the right path in life. Sadly, he was too excited by the road life and she would have little effect on his life choices. Snap Capone ended up becoming one of the most wanted men in his own hood while all sides still continued to beef with Brixton. SI was made up of two sets which split in 2008, the C members on the Aylesbury estate, including Snap Capone, remained SI while the others based in Beckham, including Kilikai, switched and created a new set or PB, original Beckham boys. But while the beef with Ghetto was over, the war with Brixton was just beginning and soon Snap Capone would be right in the centre. It was August the 6th 2008 and Snap Capone was chilling in Wally with Butch, SI. At this point, the beef with Wally was non-existent and members would be able to lack in each other's hoods without getting into too much passer. Unfortunately, this was not the case this day and 2OC, organized crime drillers were circling looking for Beckham members. They spotted Snap and Butch enter a Costco and started shooting from outside. They both missed their targets and sadly hit and killed an innocent civilian, Ryan Bravo. OC ended up sending direct shots to Snap Capone for this in their response bullet redeem, the earliest days of drill distracts on YouTube. This mindset would eventually create the UK drill scene as we know it today with A-Town slash Brixton members dropping their first song in 2013. Back in these days though, you had to be completely certified in the streets to rap, so it made sense that Snap Capone would soon jump on beats. His style hasn't really changed all these years later and still comes with the same anger and violence which his fans love. Snap claims to have shot at least 20 people and this is probably an exaggeration but now you can see why he was turning up in the streets. But it wouldn't be Brixton who he caught his first body on, it would be Woolly. As I said, the Peckham Civil War was really taking guys off the streets. Most lifers, fallen soldiers in this period were caused by their own side and in fact some of the same problems still plague Peckham to this day. Being only around 16 and 17 at the time, Snap Capone was already a feared named in the streets and with his older Snap, SI, they used to control a lot of the drugs supply in their area. So, when Shower Malik, let some, robbed one of Snap's workers they decided to retaliate. Allegedly they were looking for Malik but as he was hiding and staying low, they had to find someone close to him. They decided to target his half-brother Mima, OTB slash MOB, a loved member on the Brandon estate and in Woolley and Kennington. So, 
On the 2nd of November 2009, Snap, Snap Component 10, SI, Rita Woolita camp out for Mima. They spotted him on his doorstep at around 7 p.m., when two gunmen ran up and shot him three times in his chest, killing him later that night. I'm not 100% but I believe Mima was actually related to current Woolly members base, Woolly Road, and Lil Base, Moscow 17. The shooting shook South London as Woolly and Peckham were originally cool and after the Ford was found burned in Pex, police knew who was involved. Later that month they kicked off a Snap Capone store and found the murder weapon in his bedroom. They arrested him, only for him to claim his innocence and say someone gave him the gun to hide. He was charged, along with Snap and Tem, SI, in relation to the case and were remanded before trial. Around a year later they finally went to trial. The CCTV was too grainy to identify Snap or Tem at the petrol station meaning the evidence against them was very weak. Eventually, they were all found not guilty although Snap Capone was found guilty of possession of the gun and received around six years. Considering he'd already served a year, he'd only have two years left to serve. Finding much information on Snap Capone's works back in the day is very hard. Allegedly, his second body is on depot, OTB, MOB. It's hard to find any reliable information on this case and as it is unsolved, I will leave it up to you guys in the comments to go into this case. It shows not only Snap Capone's savage personality that not one body could make his point in the beef. But while Snap Capone killed Depo, it was his older who would get lifed off after a day of violence in Peckham. The tension had been building for at least two years by this point and simply all the worst things that could have happened, happened that day. On the 6th of September 2010, a shooting occurred on the Letsum estate. It meant every member was active that day and knew to stay on point. One member who sadly didn't get the memo was Taz, OPB, who was sadly killed after a motorbike chase which led him to crash. Taz was very close with many members from Beckham and it was a sad day when he died. It also meant guys were moving loose and the same day he died, Snap read out to his memorial on the roadside. Allegedly, it was mistaken identity however he did shoot Lil Graham, Letsum, who sadly lost his life. It was a very high profile case and possibly one of the last national headlines that that generation of Beckham sadly caused. This is mainly because of his close friendship with Rio Ferdinand, who is from Beckham, and after his publicizing of the case. Snap was eventually convicted and sentenced to 35 years to life in 2014 after finally getting arrested after three years. Between 2010 and 2015, while the final hitters of Pex remained on road, Snap and Snap Capone were making serious bread. While Snap Capone was building up a fanbase in the music, he was building lines in the country. After establishing them himself, Snap would send younger members out to places like Bournemouth and Southampton. Snap Capone hit the roads in around late 2012 early 2013 on violence. His older Snap was still on the roads but only had a few months before his eventual arrest for the Lil Graham case. This is the period where he really started to make moves in the music industry. While most of the Peckham rappers were in jail, dead or banned from music, 
Snap Capone remained free and would hit big numbers from his early age. 2014 was the first year most fans would hear of him and it wouldn't take much to turn them into fans. He was a savage and people could tell that from the start. He mixes grime with drill as he's from both and yet neither generation. But while he was making moves, gigs, SN1, would never support him due to the work he put in on Wooly, a side which SN1 are very close to. But music didn't pay at this point and Snap Capone would have to keep trapping in the streets. If he decided not to and live tough for a couple of years until he blew up, he would be gone by now. But he didn't and sadly in March 2016 he would be arrested again for drugs offences after getting caught up in a police operation in Southampton. He pleaded guilty and received six years, meaning he'd be out in March 2019. For two years he was in a C category jail before being moved down to a DCAT prior to his release. While inside, he probably realized how stupid he was moving and the opportunity he now had to change his life. Most people in jail have nothing going for them and will be straight back inside and soon as their fresh home feeling wears off. But Snap Capone was different and even the guffs knew it. Snap Capone had a phone in basically every cell of every jail he was in and more time corrupt screws are where they come from, especially when others are dry. He got on with his time and eventually was released to Rolls Royce in 2019. Allegedly he tipped off the Daily Mail about it and knew they'd write about a thug getting released so that's why they were there that day. It was good publicity and within a couple of months he was already making the same moves again he had made in 2014. By 2021, he was another big name within the rap scene and was another established name from Peckham like CS, PYG, Tiny Boost, PYG, and even Cinco Siege, Bread Set, Beckham Olders who were now back and shelling it. But unfortunately, he would get arrested again on unknown charges. It's believed he's in jail right now and not really known and it's sad to see such an old man still stuck in the same ways when he has an opportunity to do better. I'm sure his older snap would do anything for just a day of freedom right now. It's very sad and I hope to see Snap Capone home soon and releasing more quality music.